So let's look at this question here. This question says f of x is equal to the cube root of x squared minus 4. Evaluate f prime of x. That's a question there, all right? Evaluate f prime of x. So how exactly do we solve this? Let's take this question down. So we're given this question f of x being equal to the cube root of x squared minus 4. And we're asked to find f prime of x. Now f prime of x is simply, when we say find f prime of x, f prime of x is simply equal to the y over dx, which means the first derivative of the function. All right, that's what it means. Now your first task would be um, right, or let's your first task would be this: let f of x be equal to y. So if that's true, we'll have that y it's equal to. I'll take the cube root of x squared minus four. So that's your first task, okay? That f of x should be equal to y. That's all. So with this, um, our next task would be we write this in index form. Now we know that if you take the cube root of a in index form, cube root of a is simply a to the power one over three. All right, this is from indices. Now, if this is true, that means that this equation or this function will be equal to x squared minus four or to the power one over three because of the cube roots. So that means this question is simply y is equal to in bracket x squared minus four all to the power one over three. And we are asked to find the y over dx. Now for a question like this, we'll have to use chain rule. All right, we'll use chain rule because we have a rational index. So whenever the index is a rational term or a fraction, would have to use chain rule. Okay. All right. If that's true for chain rule, would say let u be equal to the term in the bracket, which is simply x squared minus four. Okay. Our next task would be find the u over dx. Now for the u over dx, you have to differentiate u with respect to x in x squared minus four. I would have that the u all over dx is equal to differentiate x squared minus 4 that gives you 2x now by the way i've already discussed all the methods of differentiation in our previous classes all right so you can go to playlist and check you see all the methods of differentiation already explained as well as chain rule okay i'll leave a link to chain rule differentiation um explanation from the scratch in the video description let's proceed with this so after getting the udx my next task will now be bots but y is equal to now if you look at the question here we said y is equal to x squared minus 4. y is equal to this x squared minus 4 but we said x squared minus 4 is equal to u so your tax will simply be substitute this as u that means y will be equal to u which is x squared minus 4. now this was raised to power 1 over 3 so it becomes to power 1 over 3 so you have this the next step here would be differentiating y with respect to u, and that gives you dy over du. So you have that dy over du is equal to, for this, I will use the power method or the general method, which is simply multiplied by the power. The power here is 1 over 3. So multiplied by the power becomes 1 over 3 times u to the power 1 over 3, then subtracts 1 from the power, minus 1. Let's proceed with this. This would be equal to this would be equal to 1 over 3 times u to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 gives you minus 2 all over 3. You'll have this. Let's simplify further. If you simplify further, this would be equal to 1 over 3 times. Now to remove the negative here attached to you, to remove this negative here, you take inverse. So more like saying to remove the negative, this becomes 1 all over u to the power 2 over 3. By putting 1 all over here, I have removed this negative, this one here. I've, I've removed this negative. All right, let's proceed further. Um, this is equal to 1 over 3 times. Now, this one here, this is same thing as saying 1 all over u squared to the power 1 over 3 all right so of course 2 2 times 1 over 3 here that's this 2 times 1 over 3 here 
this will give you 2 over 3. Okay? Now, if that's true, recall that earlier we said that a to the power 1 over 3 is the same thing as what there? The cube root of a. We said this earlier. Okay? Now, what that, what that implies is that this would now be equal to 1 all over 3 times 1 all over becomes the cube, cube root of this term here, which is simply the cube root, um, excuse me, which is simply the cube root of u squared. So you have this. Okay, if I multiply further, you have 1 times 1, that gives you 1 all over, 3 times this gives you 3 into the cube root of u squared. So observe the way I'm writing this. So this is the value of dy all over du. So you have this, right? Okay, so I haven't got it, gotten this. And the final step will now be using the chain rule formula. So I would say using chain rule, using chain rule. For chain rule, I have that dy over dx, it's equal to dy du times the udx let's recall the y du let's recall the y du from this would have that this is equal to um would have that this is equal to for the y du if you look at this the y du is this one all over three that's one all over 3 multiplied by the cube root of u squared multiplying the udx uh, back to this all right so back to this the udx is simply 2x so multiplied by 2x so times 2x and this is equal to of course this is all over 1 so 1 times 2x gives you 2x all over this times 1 gives you 3 into um, the cube root of u squared. So you have this. So basically, you have this as your term. Then finally, you would have but let's bring back the value of u. But u is equal to, let's check this. Um, going back to this, you can see it here. What well, we said u is equal to x squared minus 4. You have this. Okay, so let's bring that here. But u is equal to x squared minus 4. So bring that value here. What do you have? If I bring that value here, we'd we'll finally have that dy dx is equal to, this will be equal to 2x, that's um, 2x all over, so divided by, 3 multiplied by the third root of u or u squared and u is x squared minus 4 that's u squared so basically this is your answer or this is how we solve this question okay so that is the value of y okay all right if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button right give us a thumbs up also, leave a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed the video. All right. If it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe, please do want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when we upload the new content. And finally, do want to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.